Okay, Orlando Wilson here. And what I want to talk about this morning in this video is a question I'm asked quite often, and that's about private military companies and private military contracting, etc. <clears throat> now, up on YouTube, I have a long video. I think it's like 20 minutes, over 20 minutes, that talks about so you want to be a private military contractor and private military companies, etc. I go in depth. Because of all the trouble that's going on at the moment, there's a lot of guys thinking, okay, they're gonna make big bucks being private military contractors and all the rest of it. You know what, a lot of that, the big bucks days are generally over. And I'll summarize things in this video. Um, what killed off a lot of the big paying jobs, especially as private military contractors that wanna go and fight other people's wars, which in a lot of places is illegal to start with, um, in a lot of places you cannot go and serve in other people's militaries so check out your national laws before you even think about running off and fighting somebody else's war um, what killed a lot of it is volunteers if you look at a lot of places now why are what well, this conflict let's use Ukraine as an example why are the Ukrainians gonna pay big bucks and initially they claimed they were gonna pay big bucks. These days, why are the Ukrainians gonna pay big bucks for foreign volunteers when they can get people to turn up and die for nothing? Um, even though people have promised to get paid, in a lot of cases, and I've heard this out of Ukraine, a lot of the volunteers turn up are not getting paid. They get paid pennies. Cigarette money if they're lucky. Um, so again, the same thing happened I'll use an example, and again, PMCs, a lot of people think of PMCs, it's the Iraq, Afghanistan, look cool stuff, and in the early days, people were making good money. In these, now, these days, people in Iraq and Afghan can make okay money, but not good, good money. Um, I'll use maritime security as an example, people used to be able to make good money. Now, I understand, I know some guys were saying they're working for a thousand euros a month doing maritime security. Um, even the bigger companies, I think you're lucky to be seeing 2,000 euros a month working maritime security. And what killed it off is the company saw why are they paying big bucks for Brits and Americans, Europeans, when they can hire people from other countries where the cost of living is cheaper and these guys can provide the same standard of service than having a Brit or, or an American. There's a lot of Indians involved in the contracting world, especially maritime security at the moment, because again, no disrespect to the Indians, um, they're a lot cheaper to hire an Indian than it is to uh, hire a European. And you know what, the Indians, if you see what happened in the Red Sea recently, the Indian Navy is very active. Um, I think they got back a hijacked ship or something. So again, the guys and girls in the Indian military, they might do things a little bit differently than the Europeans, but they're competent, they are professional, and they're a lot cheaper than Europeans, Americans. Again, people, somebody bounced something off me recently, Yemen. You know what, there was a lot of mercenaries working for Saudi in the Yemen, but again, they're Sudanese, they're Africans, they're a lot cheaper than Europeans. Um, why did Eric Prince recruit Latin Americans when he set up um, a unit for the uh, United Arab Emirates. He used Latin Americans because they're cheaper and they're also, they can handle, how can I put it? They don't want a, a lot of the luxuries that Brits and Americans expect. So again, a lot of the PMC stuff these days, everybody thinks they're gonna make money. There is no money in it. It's, it's, you have to be very, very lucky to make good, good money. And again, if you look what's happening in Ukraine, a lot of the volunteers are just being used as cannon fodder. Um, and it doesn't matter how skilled you are, if you're in the wrong grid square and the Russians decide to take out that grid square, you're just gonna end up getting mashed. The other issue is then, and again, this happened, I know in Iraq, in numerous cases, if you get injured, who's gonna pay your medical bills, who's gonna pay your repatriation, who's gonna, look after you when you're unable to work because you're crippled because your legs or arms blown off. Um, I know cases in Iraq where people got injured, the insurance didn't pay out. The companies were like, thank you very much, goodbye. 
um, legally there was one case I forget the name of the na boat now uh, manned mainly by British guys run by an American company maritime security um, everybody was arrested in India everybody went to jail for a long time it was a big case they ended up getting released but everybody w went to jail the company that was behind that operation ended up go going bankrupt very very quickly they didn't have the money to get everybody out of jail and pay pay the legal fees thank you very much goodbye that's the international security industry um, I've had people ask me about if they want to volunteer etc what should they do or they want to be a mercenary what should they do you know what find something else to do get you mean get a life to start with but if you intend to go on that path then you need to join the military you need proper formal military training I see people offering PMC courses you know what you I was talking to somebody a while back that was on about PMC stuff they've done some PMC course and they're into the tactical stuff and like to go to gun ranges get dressed up and play with guns when I started bouncing some basic military stuff off them um, what do we call it basic field craft I'm not going to get into detail basic field craft skills which every infantry soldier should know they were clueless when I talk, started talking about tactics they were clueless they could apparently from what I've seen of their PMC training it was just go to a gun range and play with guns shoot this run around look cool get in get out of a car etc bodyguard training with plate carriers and AK-47s that's it um, and again, I said to him about the training, and I mentioned this in a recent video, it was like a nine to five, stay in the hotel, three meals a day, etc. You know what, if you're considering being a mercenary and going to fucked up places and doing fucked up things, you need serious training. You need to get your ass kicked. You need to suffer. You need to go hungry. You need to, you need to understand sleep deprivation. You need to suffer. If you've gone and done, a, and this is where a lot of these courses these days, these tactical entertainment courses, especially the PMC courses, you might run around in a controlled environment and somebody might even shout at you. But it's not really going to replicate serious military training and a lot of serious, serious military or a lot, of Europe, a lot of military training in the West these days is a little bit PC for my liking. But if you think you're going to do a five day, a 10 day PMC course and then be qualified to go and fight other people's wars then you might last a little you might, you might get away with it for a while but you're gonna end up dead pretty quickly and that's the thing these days and a lot of the wars especially I'll use Ukraine as an example the foreigners used as cannon fodder yes some people might go there and get some advisory roles etc etc but as things deteriorate it's just gonna be cannon fodder if you think about joining the Russians what I understand the Russians pay you're going to be cannon fodder. They're going to use you for all the dirty tasks. But if you survive, I think if you survive your contract, at least they give you citizenship, um, which a lot of places don't even do that. So just my opinion on the PMC stuff. To me, it's complete and utter rubbish. Um, it's people selling fantasies, selling courses, etc. If people in, if somebody in a bar or a pub offers you some weird and wonderful job somewhere telling you how much money you're going to make, and they'll do this for you and do that for you and it's high risk and it's all Gucci you know what I say take it all politely take it all with a pinch of salt but don't believe a word they're saying yeah there's a big difference between the realities and the fantasies so check out my video I've got up on YouTube on private military companies etc I'll put it in the link to this video but again there's a big difference between the reality and the uh, and the fantasy and a lot of the fantasy I said a lot of these days is people selling books people selling courses etc 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 so in the meantime keep it real follow me along on social media um, I like X formerly known as Twitter and also LinkedIn and if you got any questions feel free to reach out to me in the meantime be good stay safe stay out of trouble or try to stay out of trouble and if you want to be a volunteer in some ways hope you get killed pretty quickly because it'll save you suffering <laughs>